Hello, I'm CJ Windish, and welcome to Tinker and Build. Today, we're going to explore how to use the BeagleBone Blackboard. It's a self-contained computer all on one board, so it carries a lot more features than an Arduino, including running a full-fledged version of Debian Linux. There's two ways to use the BeagleBone Black. One is to connect with USB via your laptop and SSH into the board. The second is to use it as a standalone computer and connect it to a keyboard and mouse. I'll show you how to do both. First, let's just use USB. You'll need a BeagleBone Black Rev-C board, a USB to mini USB cable, it should come in the box, an ethernet cord, and a laptop. Connect the ethernet cord from your BeagleBone to your router. We'll need internet to install some things. Connect the USB cable to your BeagleBone Black, then to your laptop. USB provides power to the board, and it should come on right away. To SSH into the board, we need to download PuTTY. Go to putty.org and grab the latest version and install it. Open up PuTTY and we'll change some settings. Under connection type, click the serial radio button. Now open up device manager to find out what COM port the board is on. On the left sidebar, find and expand connection and locate serial. Set speed to 115200. Set data bits to 8. Set stop bits to 1. Set parity to none, set flow control to none. Now click back to session. Give your session a name. I'm calling mine BBB. And click save so you can access it later quickly without having to reset all the settings. Click open to get the SSH PuTTY terminal. Now it's asking for a username. It's just root. And there's no password so you should just end up in a Unix command prompt. And voila, you're SSH'd into your BeagleBone. That's the USB way of getting into your BeagleBone. The other way is to use it as a standalone computer. To use BeagleBone as a standalone, you'll need an Ethernet cord, a monitor with HDMI output, an HDMI to micro HDMI cable, or a regular HDMI cable with an HDMI to micro HDMI adapter, a 5 volt 1 amp DC power supply, a USB wireless keyboard mouse combo. Connect the Ethernet cord from your router to the board. Connect the HDMI cord from the monitor to the BeagleBone. Plug in the wireless receiver into the board's USB port. Finally, plug in the power supply. You should get a Debian desktop on your monitor, already logged into the BeagleBone. Now that you have a BeagleBone running using one of these two methods, let's get some simple programs running on it. One of the benefits of having a full Linux operating system on the board is that you can run just about any language you want on it, versus Arduino where you're stuck just running CC++. Python comes pre-installed, so we'll do a Python program. Python doesn't know how to use the board's pins by default, so we'll have to install a library. Luckily, Adafruit has a good one that will let us access the general I.O. pins and do PWM. To install the Adafruit BeagleBone library, first, run this command, sudo ntpdate pool.ntp.org. Then install dependencies with sudo apt-get update, and then run sudo apt-get install build essential python dev python setup tools python pip python smb bus dash y finally install the library like any other python package with the pip package manager sudo pip install adafruit underscore bbio test it out and make sure everything works right sudo python dash c import adafruit underscore bbio dot gpio as gpio print gpio you should see the Adafruit BBIO GPIO module output like so. Now that everything's set up, let's wire up a simple test circuit and write some code. We're going to test the GPIO capability of the board and test the PWM capability. First, let's turn on a simple LED circuit with a digital output pin. Hook a resistor and an LED to a breadboard. Put the cathode to the ground rail and the anode into the middle of the board. Connect the ground rail to a GND pin on the board. A quick look at the BeagleBone Black pinout from the manual and connect the jumper wire. Next connect P810. That's the right side pins on the board with the right column fifth pin down to the LED's anode. Now to write some code. If you're familiar with Emacs or VI, you can write the code right on the board using one of the Unix text editors. If you're unfamiliar, you might want to write the code on your computer and then copy it into PuTTY. Remember, paste into PuTTY is just right-click on the terminal. I'm going to use Vim. 
To test this baby out, we're going to light up the LED. In the Adafruit Python library, that's importing the library, setting up the digital I.O. pin for output, then pull the pin high. Now quit the text editor, and let's run it with the normal Python command. And there it is, we've got an LED controlled with Python. Just control C to kill the Python process when you're ready to stop it. Now let's test out PWM. If you don't know what PWM is, links in the description. We'll use the same circuit as before, except the anode wire needs to be moved to a PWM pin instead of a digital pin. We'll use pin P914. Okay, let's open up a new file with VI and write some Python. Import the library again. And what we're going to do is progressively make the LED brighter by stepping up the PWM duty cycle from 0% up to 100%. Just do a loop and count up by 1%. PWM output on pin 914 and use the loop variable i as the duty cycle, so we'll count up. We need to wait a little bit between each loop iteration. So import the time library and sleep for a bit during each iteration so we can see the LED slowly get brighter. Throw a print statement in there so we can see what the duty cycle is as the LED gets brighter. Quit VI, and let's run it. There it is, the pulse width modulation is slowly changing the brightness of the LED as the duty cycle, and hence the voltage and current, slowly go up as the loop counts up. I hope you like this simple Hello World Python program and circuit for the BeagleBone Black. As always, links to all the parts needed for this video are in the description. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more tutorial videos like this one. Find us on social media, at Tinker and Build on Twitter and Facebook. And follow me, your host, CJ Windish, at CJ underscore Windish on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. That's all for now. I'm CJ Windish, and this has been Tinker and Build.